couple of health issues in commemoration of the 2023 World Immunization Week. A uh, leading child rights organization is called on the federal government and stakeholders to accelerate actions toward reducing and ending the under five mortality rate of children from vaccine preventable diseases. The advocacy campaign and policy manager, Save the Children International, SVI Ifia Chuku Innocent, made the call at a roundtable dialogue section with immunization stakeholders in Abuja. Ifia Chuku lamented that immunization coverage in Nigeria is below the Global Vaccine Action Plan, goals adding that only 36% of children aged 12 to 23 months received all recommended vaccines and 18% did not receive any putting a substantial number of children at risk of vaccine preventable diseases. It urged all stakeholders to continue to build strong political commitment for increased immunization coverage and other primary health care interventions. Other stakeholders present at the event also call for sustainable funding for research and development for pharmaceutical companies to promote local vaccine production in Nigeria. When a child is not uh, fully immunized, that child becomes a problem to other child, to other children, you know. So um, the message we have is that uh, families, we have messages at different levels. For the families, they should do everything possible to present their children for immunization. And then for government, it's for them to be able to um, ensure that the funding is available, the logistics and challenges are sorted out, um, the coaching challenges are sorted out uh, and that the health workers are properly trained to administer all of these vaccines. Um, um, I, I, I will go back to the, 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 the coaching uh, equipment because that's where the major challenge is. When these vaccines come in, they need to be kept in proper uh, and conducive uh, environment where, um, um, so that they maintain the faith. If you look at the child survival strategy, yes. the most important um, um, strategies are one, um, effective nutrition and vaccination. Once you are able to do this, most children will survive. But if you do one and leave the other, then the child will not survive because the other thing will come and kill the child. So those are the things that we must look into. Then concerning the um, funding for the health system, the national health insurance system should be strengthened so that they will be able to capture the community health insurance system. That is when we can be able to see the benefit of um, um, health insurance system because money will be made available to the facilities. The facility will be functional. They will be able to get everything in terms of the skills, in terms of the resources, in terms of the equipment and commodities for them to be able to function well. So once these things are in place, definitely we'll be able to achieve our aims and objectives when it comes to um, um, health indices for the most vulnerable, which are mothers and children. Thank you. Well, um, are empowered educationally so that they can be able to make an informed decision. To revive local vaccine production, uh, over 30 years ago we were producing yellow fever vaccine. Uh, we have a, a facility in Lagos, uh, Yaba specifically, you know, for this. And in the past few years, the discussion has come up again. The Federal Minister of Health signed MOU uh, with May and Baker. There's this uh, bio vaccine uh, group, you know. So uh, the Nigerian Medical Re Institute of Medical Research, NIMA, uh, you know, uh, also is involved and there must be sustainable funding for research and development you know so we need much more research we need much create enabling environment for the pharmaceutical companies to begin to do this we have more than 100 pharmaceutical companies in nigeria immunization is no brainer uh, it's no brainer forget all the misinformation you and things you read during especially during covid there was what you call infodemics people were sending us sort of information about vaccination and all that but those things are misinformation Vaccines, or like somebody said in the vaccination itself, once a child is vaccinated, the child has a, a better opportunity to survive in terms of, especially against the agents that has been, the child has been immunized against them. So it's very important that we get it right in terms of funding vaccination. And this is very, very critical because we need to make sure that 
we reinvent the money for vaccination because it saves lives, you know. And one of the things we need to do is to make sure that whatever we budget for vaccination is released. There's a difference between like what you are talking about. You can budget, you can hear this amount of money was put for for vaccines, you know, 